Well, hello Instagram. We haven't done this in a long time. James, I'm on Instagram. What? Yes. James and I are in London. We're heading home from the uh, two brewers in Clapham. And uh, I just thought, hey, I haven't done that. I haven't done that Instagram live thing that all the kids are doing. So I might as well check in and say hi. What? Uh, let's see who's here. Hey, Sarah. Sarah's here. You know, Sarah with the pink hair from the two brewers. I'm from the Vauxhall Tavern. Sarah, I'm back at the Vauxhall Tavern next Sunday. I better see you. I'm going to bring Colin. Davina DeCampo. Hi, Davina DeCampo. Weebka is right here. See, all the people I care about. Weebka, Sarah, and Davina. That's a, we should have just them over for cocktail party. There's a party, then. There's a party going on right here. A celebration to last a wealthy year. Woo! So bring your good towel and your laughter too. Share with a cold. I have got I've got the worst, well, I'm really, really hoarse. I didn't even know whether I was gonna be able to sing tonight at the two brewers. Mm -hmm. I've never wished that I was a, a lip sync artist more than I did tonight. Because on the way to the two brewers, I was trying to sing and just croaks were coming out. And I thought, I do not know how I'm gonna do this, but I prayed to Cher, I prayed to Joan Rivers, I said, give me the ability to entertain this crowd tonight. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to do an hour long show and I don't death drop or do cartwheels or hairography and I, I've got to be able to sing. And fortunately some it came and it lasted all the way to the end. I thought at one point in the, during the middle of the show I started croaking. And I thought, "Oh, I'm not going to be able to finish." I started sounding like Cookie Monster. And it all sort of did, sort of managed to fall into place. I can't wait for Colin Cuddles. Well, he's certainly coming. Uh, don't say hello, Brazil. Say hello, Christina. Oh, hello, Christina. Work that mama. I've got my Team Courtney dress on. Support a queen. I have to support Courtney. Courtney is the reason I'm on, I went on Big Brother. Big you brother. Big brother. <laughs> Sorry, the reason I went on. <laughs> That's a Freudian slip. Uh, the reason I went on drive race is Courtney encouraged me. Hi, Felicity Fraccaccino. It's been ages since I saw you appear in a feed. Uh, let's, let's just make up people who's here. April Carrion is here. <laughs> Bendela Krem is here. Hey, Bendela. Aja is here. Oh, my God. Courtney's poor heart. I know. I haven't seen. Don't tell me, we we haven't seen tonight's episode. But she's probably devastated. She had a crush. She had. She had the biggest crush. I was kind of hoping if they got eliminated together, they could spend the night at the hotel and consummate their relationship. <laughs> so they're just gonna have to delay it. I know for a fact that there's a bunch of nightclubs that want to book the two of them as a, like a double act. So in the next couple of weeks. Once Courtney wins Celebrity Big Brother, she'll be traveling and doing some gigs with Betty Andrew. Swallows. Yeah, Betty Swalix and sure. and the lovely Courtney act. Uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, Naomi Smalls. Hey, Naomi Smalls. George. Hey, George. I wanted to cry for Courtney at the end of CVB. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. It must be. It must be heartbreaking. Let's, let's see who else is here. Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Hi, Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Um, Shea Coule is here. Hi, Shea Coule. Linda Evangelista. Linda Evangelista. Kate Moss. <clears throat> oh my God, I just, I really, really hope that um, Beyonce doesn't. Because whenever Beyonce's on, she's always like, mm, do that thing you do for me. I'm like, oh God. You, I make her. I made her chicken tikka masala once, and she's always, "What's your secret recipe?" Calling me, sending me instant messages. How do you make coronation chicken again? I'm like, "Oh my god, who am I fucking Ina Garden? Get your own. Get your own get your, get Alexa. Get, get your own personal chef. You remind me of Christine Applegate. Okay, I'll take that. I think she's a few years younger than me, so I'll take that. Actually, Andrew used to know her. 
Yeah, my friend Andrew, whenever, um, um, for those of you who've known me for a while, know that whenever I go to Los Angeles, I never stay in a hotel. I always stay up in the Hollywood Hills. Uh, I always stay up, you know, um, you know the song, Our house is a very, very, very fine house with two cats in the yard. That was Joni Mitchell. Yeah, it's um, our house, the very, very fine house is two doors down from my friend Andrew's in, um, What's it called? It's Canyon. Lookout Mountain, Laurel Canyon. And he, Christine Applegate, used to live right across the way. She'd like knock on the door. She's like, could I borrow a bottle of vodka? Bitter old lady. What kind of cunt are you calling me a bitter old lady? I may be old, but I'm not bitter, darling. I need a lick. Mommy needs a neck lift. Look at that. Doesn't my neck look much better when I do that? James, will you just walk around and hold, hold the back of my neck for me? Sure. I'm seeing a plastic surgeon. Seeing if they could turn back time. Give me the full share. Have you seen what Madonna's done with her lips? Oh my God, they're like pumped for Jesus. Who's that? Uh, hi from Webster. Hi! Hi from Webster Wigs. Thank you for the wig. Julie, uh, Julie, are you Webster's mom? Hi, Mrs. Kasha Davis. Okay, so it's a real Kasha Davis. It's How not do one, you know it's the real It's Kasha. the real Kasha Davis. It's not one of those fake accounts because it says Mrs. Kasha it's Davis. Not, it's not the Kasha Davis experience. It's not the Kasha Davis experience. Yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> there's three lookalikes running around northern, um, northern New York State. The Kasha Davis experience, Kasha Davis light, and there's always time for a cock and tail. Kasha, Kasha, I'm really looking forward to touring Australia with you. Um, that's, uh, it's, it's like high on my list of top three things that are gonna happen in 2018. The number one thing that's gonna happen is this guy right here is turning 40. Look at that face. He's yeah, turning 40. Yeah. He's turning 40. So yeah, we're doing Kasha Davis and I and Tempest Du Jour and Chad Michaels. We're doing the uh, Queens of the Stone Age tour, millennia in the making. Charlie, am I excited for new? Oh my God, new Madonna music. I get moist. And Kylie. I know new Kylie music. New um, new uh, Prince music is coming out very soon. Prince. Uh, yeah, Prince. A bunch, a bunch of a uh, bunch of bunch of tracks uh, are going to be released very, very soon. Hey, Alfie, Law, Alfie Lockhart. Manon is nothing but plastic. She is the most divine piece of plastic ever. Ever! Pump for Jesus. That should be your next song. <laughs> Pump for Jesus! Thanks again Plum. for the pina colada. It's really Kasha Davis. Kasha, where are you? Are you still in Australia or, you, or is that tour done? I'm not gonna say anything unkind. It's going to be a hoot. Oh, I'm, I, I'm seem to be scrolling behind. Let me catch up. I was behind. She's pl a plastic relic. Oh, honey. If only you could be as, as unsuccessful as she's been. If only if you could be as a relic like her. Who wants to grow old gracefully? Uh, you're in, oh, Kasha's is in San Francisco, Darian. Like, send my love to the lovely Darian. Without Madonna, Lady Gaga would not exist. Oh, God, we're going to be doing that whole thing again. <laughs> oh, I haven't done that in a while. You hate Madonna. You hate Gaga. Fortunately, that all died off when I went on that reality TV show. Then they're like, you can't move. <laughs> the, the insults, the insults change. You hate Lana Del Rey. You can't on the Edgware Road heading north. So I'm sorry, my dear, unless it is an after hours party where uh, Brigitte Nielsen is, you know what I could murder, murder right now? A Black Forest Gato from Iceland. Yeah. 
they, they don't have 24-hour Icelands in the United Kingdom. Just have drive through. I am going to write a petition drive through. and send it to Theresa May. They really should have drive through Icelands. Yeah. Yes, I'm going on Dragon's Den. I'm going to propose it. When you need a gato. Black Forest gato. What are those, what are those rings yeah. with the icy... No, James, what are those... Um, you know those um, those those hard cookies no. with the frosting on them. They no. were like in the rings. Who? No. Um, you don't know what I'm talking about. No. Iced fancies. Thank goodness they don't. <laughs> Are you excited for next Sunday? Of course I am. I'll be at the Two Brewers, uh, uh, the the Royal Vauxhall Tavern, the first Sunday in in February. I live for the Royal Vauxhall Tavern. And I just, you're there on the Thursday because uh, oh, I'm there. Yeah, I'm drag. there Thursday. Or cancer is a drag. I know that almost everybody everybody uh, who's watching right now has probably been affected by cancer somehow. So if you if you're in London on the first of February, come on down to the Royal Vauxhall Tavern for cancer is a drag. Only English people would understand. That's okay. Lots of English people here in the group right now. Kirsty's here. Charlie, please send me. I don't know what that means. Say me. No, I can't read that. We need a new photo together, I think. Okay, well, I think I can arrange that. Charlie, I'm moving out this house this week. Wish me luck. Oh, God. Another person. Charlie, can you help me move? I've helped more people move than prunes. <laughs> That's it. Charlie James. I made James laugh. Oh, that makes my day. James, I've decided for the rest of the journey, I'm going to speak with an English accent. Really? Oh, yes. I'm drinking water. Hello, Mrs. Carter Davis, darling. I'm drinking water this evening. We're in London. Oh, we're right by Kate Moss's house. We are right by um, Abbey, Road. Uh, Abbey Road, by the Abbey Road Studios, Where's where Madonna was just re recently recording. We're driving past there in that very, lo very, 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 very lovely, darling. Charlie, uh, do you love England? I adore England. I, I moved, well, I was an Anglophile before I met James. I'd been to London uh, many times. I'd come here when I was very young with my mother, who is British, darling. Uh, British, darling. And uh, we went, we went, we stayed at the, uh, the Waldorf. And you never took me to the Waldorf. I never took you to the Waldorf, darling. I take you to all the best places. I've taken you to Harvester. Wimpy. I've taken you to Wimpy, Toby, Carvery. Oh, I, I've taken you to, uh, what's the other place? What's the uh, burger place? Wimpy. Wimpy, is that, is that the one? Yeah. With the onions? Yeah. Oh, okay. And the Knickerbocker Glory. And the Knickerbocker Glory. I take you to all the best places, darling. Spiked with gin, yes. What was I just talking about? You were, your mum, you took your mum. Yeah, we, 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 we stayed at the Waldorf, we, we, we saw a bunch of West End shows, and I fell in love with England. And I came here with my friend Jared. We went to Kinky Galinky, and I just adored it. And then when I met James and I heard that amazing English accent, I said, I gotta get me some more of that. And then, his visa ran out and he had to move back here to England because we met in Boston in the States. Otherwise we would have been living in Boston. I know we could be living in Boston if you only had a proper green card. But I moved here and I, I fell in love with it. I moved here with two suitcases. I knew no one. And I had to make a career for myself and start at the bottom and start working my way up. And England loved me as much as I love England. So... The rest is history. Hey, Starina, you in Reading too? Starina. Hi from Miss McMarilyn. Uh, is it you are going to play the Queen in season three of The Crown? <laughs> yes. I'll speak like this. Philip, Queen of England. Um... I'll probably play the Queen Mother. 
Charlie, uh, do you request to be in your live video? Hey, beautiful from Chicago. Hey, hey, Chicago. I had a lot of fun. I've been to Chicago twice this year, and I played Roscoe's Tavern. Last year. Well, last year, sorry. In the past year. In the past year. Is that okay? Looking amazing, as always, girl. Well, I do try. I just thought I'd be a little creative with the placement of my lashes tonight. Not bad for 107. What did you think of the All Star Street premiere? Um, I've only seen the last half and I enjoyed it. Although, once Aja and Bendela won, um, from that point when they were in the Untucked Lounge talking about what the strategy about was who they, and then each of them listened to the other, you know, Morgan, and you know, talk about why they thought they should stay. And I was bored to tears. I thought that whole thing was way too long. But I loved the talent show, and I loved, I loved all the conflama and drama in the in the dressing room. Um, but I wasn't really, I wasn't really thrilled with all the, um, all the debate about strategy and how they should be eliminating just get on with it show us people looking at and I, I thought they should have had a they should have had a runway they should have been a runway with amazing gowns but they didn't do that James they didn't do that James mm -hmm. but I will never question RuPaul he is all knowing people want to know why did the Bibi Bene visit Sahara or whatever come back because it's RuPaul's show and he can do whatever he fucking wants. That's why. Um, oh, well, I'm just hoping that you're going to be at Drag World this year. Yes, I probably will be at Drag World. I have, a, I have gigs up north, so I'll do Drag World and i got to like drive three hours to the north, do a show, and then drive back down. I need a Golden Girls Challenge, an entire episode dedicated to it. That would be fun. Is Sandra going to be on season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race? <laughs> Hi, Krista Lubricant. Hope I'm feeling better. Oh, thanks. Well, let me tell you, girl, I'm staying in bed tomorrow. If, if, uh, I have not canceled the gig in about seven years. The last time I, I, I canceled the gig, was um, I was at the two brewers. I was back in. I was in the dressing room. I had just done a show on a Wednesday night, and there were a bunch of um, scaffolding poles and a bunch of wood. They were doing some renovations, so they were all stacked up. And I must have moved something. I don't remember what happened. All I remember is waking up under a bunch of scaffolding poles that had collapsed on me and trapped me under. Oh, it's horrible. And was it horrible? Did you, what happened? What do you remember? Because I don't have a very good memory. I was unconscious. I've got a big bump on my head right here. A lot of. Uh, no, that was from a tree. That was in the garden. See, I don't know. I've had so many concussions. I don't know where I get my bumps from. But anyway, so I had a concussion and I had to go to the hospital and everything. And so I had to take, like, I had to cancel about a week worth of gigs. And that's the last time I've, and that was about eight years ago, wasn't it? Eight or nine years ago. Um, so I've not canceled the gig since then, but today I was really tempted. But I can't cancel the two brewers. Jimmy Smith, the general manager of the two brewers, has booked me like 900, literally 900 times in the past 18, 19 years. So uh, the only way I would ever cancel the two brewers is if my ass fell off. And if my ass f fell off, I'd pick it up, put it in a basket, and carry it on stage. I would have to, I would have to literally, I would have, my, I would have to um, be in a coma and then I'd still have James wheel me out. Well, you did the lip sync challenge, didn't you? That was I more did like the... a coma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Proof, yeah. if, if anybody wants a dwarf, <laughs> I've got one. He's hardly been used. I'm staying in bed tomorrow. James, will you, be, will you cook for me? Sure. Okay. I want, I want, um, 
boiled eggs with soldiers. American people, non-Grits, don't answer this, but American people, do you know what boiled eggs and soldiers are? I don't think most Americans know what it is, James. What's the shadiest crap that has gone on backstage at Drag Race? Oh, the shadiest crap. Um... I'm going to be kind and, and decline to answer that. <laughs> the shadiest crap is Michelle Visage um, got her dick out and Weinsteined me. She's like, come here, kid. You want to make it to Snatch Games? Suck my cock. That's the, that's the way Michelle Visage really sounds. That was a dead-on impersonation, James. I think she's a bit deeper. You deeper? Hello, kid. You want to... You want to make it a snatch game? Suck my cock. Uh, what did you choose first? The earrings or the lipstick? Because they are gorgeously put together. Um, well, uh, I think, I think these are more hot pink than red. But it's a whole color, color story. And I'm glad you appreciate it. The lipstick was chosen first. Did you enjoy Newcastle in September? I certainly did. I, um, I've, I've had one of my best gigs ever in Newcastle and one of my worst gigs ever in Newcastle. We have to go back. Okay. Two, different, two, different, two different venues. One was, what was the name of the venue? Was it the O2? in Newcastle at the O2 yeah, Academy. O2, okay. O2 Academy with the Queens of Comedy. That was so much fun. And then I, I won't say the name of the other place, but it was a shithole I played about 20 years ago. James is the best. Well, I think he's up there among the top 10 of my current husbands. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe my ninth favorite husband. Was the record in your Sunita promotion video actually glow? Was the um I'm trying to think. Yes. to take care of yourself. I know. Because if you can't take care of yourself, how in the hell are you going to take care of someone else? Can I get an amen up in here? Hello from Costa Rica. Sausage and eggs. Um, we have Linda McCartney. McCartney. Oh, maybe they were saying what when you asked what the soldiers oh, No, soldiers. Soldiers and boiled eggs. No, it's not sausage. Charlie, JC, your number one fan, says hi. Hi, JC, my number one fan. I'm Australian, and Nan used to make them for me when I was little. Yes. Okay, so Australia, that makes sense. Maybe even Canadians. I had never heard of it in America. Looking forward to Australia. I'm looking forward to Australia. This will be our fourth time. Fourth. Fourth time in Australia. Let's catch up, let's catch up. Charlie is on point. I do try. We've got to make some more gowns soon. I've got lots of sewing to do. I bought piles of fabric and I've made all these designs. I just have to get to get to work. Um, how do you get to record? Hope you get to know it record new music. I do too. Oh, let's do. I haven't done this in ages. I'm gonna re I'm gonna do one. Let's, let's do don't call us. We'll call you. Call 
Colin is at home. Where's Colin? Colin's at home. Have you, uh, have you spent much time with Coco Brew? No, I did a panel with her and I adore her. I've been a fan of hers for years. Season one through three, those girls didn't get nearly the amount of attention or promotion. Uh, it was really season four when the show kicked off. <clears throat> really went up a level. So for someone from one of the early seasons to get another bite of the apple, um, I think that's I think that's very kind of Rue. It's kind of like how kind Rue is to Porkchop. Uh, he. he uh, Porkchop was the very first queen ever eliminated, and Rue has a very special place in his heart for her, and he always includes her in the show. Uh, you have to come to Brazil. Can we shout Voxel like people shout Cameroon? Voxel! Alright. I've talked way longer than I should, and I'm losing my voice. But it's always fun to spend time with you all, so... Thank you for sharing time with us on our way home, because otherwise I've got to, I've got to talk to him. Isn't he gorgeous? Look how gorgeous my husband is. Love you too. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to be uh, silent all day tomorrow. There will be very little talking. I'll just ring a little bell by my bed and say, bring me food. Good night, everybody. See you soon. Bye.